my name is Cynthia Ritchie and welcome to A Different Lens. Today I wanted to uh, try something a little bit different um, based on you know, my 12 years, as many of you know, of, of living and working and traveling in Pakistan. I've been documenting my travels, doing a lot of writing, um, and in some cases writing love letters uh, to Pakistan that I, that I felt now perhaps would be a good time to begin sharing some of my thoughts with you. Um, many of you know that I've traveled and worked extensively all across the country. I met really, really good people. I've had my own challenges, my own battles. I've seen things that I, I think that and experienced things that many Westerners uh, just simply cannot comprehend. So I, I hope to uh, be a voice, be a platform for Pakistanis who are suffering right now. I hope to amplify their voices and their needs and assist in whatever small way I can with their concerns through the telling of, of some of my stories and uh, reading some of my materials directly to you. Today will just be a simple short reading, approximately two to three minutes. Um, it took me some time to begin compiling these writings. So bear with me, uh, but I'd like to get started on one of my uh, letters that I drafted a while back, uh, essentially addressing a question that I often encounter. Why should people like me who come from different parts of the world care about Pakistan and its people? And the answer is simply that humanity binds us all. It's a shared humanity. Pakistan is a land of diverse cultures, breathtaking landscapes, resilient people. It's a microcosm of our global community and is a place where the struggle for human rights and democracy is unfolding before our eyes. The challenges faced by Pakistanis are not isolated. I want you to know that you are not alone. Pakistani struggles reflect the broader struggles for justice, equality, and freedom that resonate across borders. When we turn a blind eye to the suffering of one nation, we diminish our own humanity. Pakistan's journey toward a more inclusive and just society is intricately intertwined with the collective fight for a better world. By supporting Pakistan and its people, we contribute to the global tapestry of progress and social change. When we stand in solidarity with Pakistan, we amplify the voices of those fighting for human rights, women's rights, and the freedom to express themselves without fear. We inspire courage and empower individuals to challenge oppressive systems, not just in Pakistan, but in every corner of the world. The struggle for justice knows no boundaries. As advocates of human rights, it is our responsibility to champion the cause of Pakistan and its people, to shed light on their stories and to uplift their voices. By caring about Pakistan, and I know a lot of people <laughs> get to this day think, Cynthia, you know, ask, why do you care so much about Pakistan? And whether Pakistanis like it or not, I've adopted them. <laughs> but it's from my heart. And I do believe that by caring about Pakistan, we declare our unwavering commitment to a world where every person, regardless of their nationality, enjoys the same rights, dignity, and freedom. And we reject the notion that borders define our empathy and compassion. So I hope we all, in some way, come together. I hope that we transcend geographical barriers so that we can all together stand with the people of Pakistan, listen to their stories, and create a future where their struggles become a catalyst for positive change worldwide. That's it. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me today on my version of A Different Lens. Together, let's build bridges of understanding and forge a path toward a more just and compassionate world.